Good morning, Borderlands. My name is Killer6, or you guys can call me K6, and today we're going to talk about crazy people. <laughs> All right, now, one of my all time favorite quotes about crazy people comes from the movie Seven, starring Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Spacey, where Pitt's character asks Spacey's crazy ass When a person is insane, as you clearly are, do you know that you're insane? Maybe you're just sitting around, reading guns and ammo, masturbating in your own feces. Do you just stop and go, wow, it is amazing how fucking crazy I really am. Yeah? You guys do that? Such a, such a great scene there. Uh, so the reason I bring up crazy people is because I encounter a fair share of them at my day job. Well, it's actually a night job, but whatever. Um, and I'm always curious to know what other people have had to deal with and what the craziest person is that they've ever had to deal with. So, uh, because up until a year ago, if you had asked me what the craziest thing I'd encountered at work was, it would have been fairly tame, all things considered. Well, you know, if, if like catching a customer using a computer to search for bondage gear is tame, I guess. But anyhow, the absolute craziest motherfucker I've encountered just happened last year, and it's still fairly vivid in my memory, so I kind of want to talk about it so that one day I can come back to this video to remember the whole thing. So I was about to lock up for the night when a gentleman walks up to the door and he's looking me right in the eyes and it was one of those serious eye contact moments too, the kind where it makes you feel instantly uneasy. Uh, but me being an overly nice guy, I open up the door and I ask him if he needs any help. And without saying a word, he just walks past me into the store and begins to set his duffel bag down on the floor and it's like it was a pretty big ass duffel bag too so my first thought was this motherfucker is going to pull a gun and shoot me <laughs> that is how my life is going to end and uh but to my surprise he instead pulls out like this wrapped up glob of meat <laughs> from his duffel bag i shit you not he pulls out this big like it's saran wrapped and he, he like he undoes he takes the saran wrap off and I don't, I thought it was, I think it was probably roast beef, but more likely it was probably human flesh that had turned. Anyhow, so he pulls out this meat looking mess and the smell of it hits me hard in the nose right away. It's pungent as hell. And I look him over real quick and I, I do the math in my head. This guy is homeless <laughs> and that meat has probably been in that bag for days. And before I could even summon a word, he turns to me and says, want some? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell no shoots into my brain but the words that come out of my mouth are customer service 101 no thank you <laughs> i know that i need to get this guy out of the store so i can get home to my family but shit has only just begun to get real <laughs> i ask him what i could do for him and he explains to me what it is that he needs and it's pretty simple actually and i won't go into really what it was that he needs because that would kind of divulge where I work and I, I don't need any more crazy people tracking me down anyhow so he hands me up while I'm, while I'm doing his, his work for him he hands me this wanted up piece of paper and he says read that and so help me it's a self-made application to join the CIA <laughs> this guy has written up his own CIA job application and I I read it over and I look at him trying not to laugh mostly because at this point i'm still expecting that he's going to kill me <laughs> um and <laughs> i you know I, I i don't know what what it is about this guy but you know even though he was clearly crazy i didn't feel too threatened at this point but anyhow um <laughs> i look at him and he's dead serious. He, he's got this look on his face like, I really want to know what you think about this fucking piece of paper that I just handed you. And he asked me, does it sound all right? <laughs> I really need to get on with the CIA so I can get free weed. Those are his exact words. I shit you not. I remember that crystal fucking clear. I need to get on with the CIA so I can get free weed. <laughs> At this point, I don't know how the hell I'm not either laughing my ass off at this guy or running for my fucking life, but there I stand, and I hand him his paper back to him, and I say, yeah, I hear you. 
That was the best I could come up with. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> so I fin <laughs> so I finish the work that he he needs me to do, and I hand it to him, and he says, I, I'm "Honest to God, I can't make this stuff up." He says, "I'm the Antichrist." <laughs> he says that. I shit you fucking not. He says, "I'm the Antichrist." Just plain as day, like matter of fact, like like we were exchanging pleasantries, and I told him my name, and he told me his. You know that kind of thing. I swear to God, I can't make this stuff up. But the thing is, when somebody tells you that they're the Antichrist, how the fuck are you supposed to respond to that? Be like, hi, I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> he continues after that. But I'm here to spread the word of God, to fix things. That's why I need to get that CIA job and get the free weed. I... This is all so clear in my brain, dude. This happened. I can't believe this happened, but it happened. And the best I can do at this point is I just nod. <laughs> it's all I can do at this point. I just fucking nod. Because this guy is as batshit crazy as it gets. He puts his sandwich meat back in the duffel bag. And he's heading toward the door. And he, he I guess at, at the point when he gets like right toward the door, he realizes that he hasn't paid me anything. And he turns and he looks at me and he goes, what do I owe you? And I, I, it, it legit was like a dollar job. So I'm like, oh, nothing, man. We're good. And that makes him smile. And it's a creepy, evil smile too, man. It makes me shiver to think about it. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Thanks. He says as he heads out the door. And I locked that door as fast as I fucking could. And I turn away, breathing a sigh of relief, and I close up, I drive home, I kiss my wife and my kid in bed, they're passed out, they don't even know. Because I feel like I've encountered the craziest person alive, and I lived. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and meet our special guest for today. We've, uh, we've already had him on the stage here a few times while we were talking about crazy people, but it's Saturn. And Saturn, uh... Ex he, he exploded. Um, sorry about that, Saturn. <laughs> so let's uh, let's head up top and see what kind of loot he's got. And spoiler alert: I previously recorded this, so I already know what he dropped up there. I'm just gonna say, wow. <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what's the craziest situation you guys have ever encountered. Mine might be all these freaking hives I've gotten. <laughs> but no, have you guys ever felt like, you know, like a life-threatening situation? Um, have you ever had to deal with somebody where you felt like this might be the end of it for you? Let me know in the comments below. Um, also, post suggestions for other Borderlands kind of content that you'd like to see. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Give me some love, guys. <laughs> I will see you guys back here in the next video. Take care.